Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a DNS server solution on Windows Server 2019 running on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed and pre-configured DNS server solution. So from this product page, simply click on continue to subscribe. After that, you would be brought to this page where you need to click on accept terms and then wait for the subscription validation process to complete. Now once the subscription validation is done, simply click on continue to configuration. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can choose the AMI, the software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. So once satisfied, simply click on continue to launch. After this, you would be brought to this page from where you get two different options to either launch the EC2 virtual machine from this website or change it to EC2 management console. So what I like to do is that I like to change it from website to EC2 management console and then click on launch. Now this opens up the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now within this tab you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name so I'm going to call this as DNS machine. After that scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box and after that scroll down and choose the instance type according to your requirements and then choose a key pair by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. Remember that this is the key pair that we would be using to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Anyways, you can leave the network settings as default. When satisfied, simply click on launch instance to actually create this virtual machine and then you would have to wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. For this, simply click on view all instances and then right click on the virtual machine's name and then choose connect. After that, simply head over to the RDP client tab and then as you can see that we have the public DNS, we have the username but we do not have the password yet. So simply click on get password. Now on this page as you can see that we need to browse to our key pair that we have selected. So simply hit browse and on your machine simply browse the key pair. Once you're done the contents of your key pair would show over here. But worry not just simply click on decrypt your password. Now after this you can see that we are now being displayed our password. Now to connect to this virtual machine simply hit windows and type in remote desktop connection. After that. Simply copy this public DNS and paste it in front of computer field and then hit show options and then simply type the username as administrator and then hit connect and then it is going to ask you for the password. So simply copy this password and paste it inside this password field and then hit ok. After that you would be prompted once more that you are trying to connect to a remote desktop connection. So hit yes and then wait for the remote desktop connection to be fully established and you also need to wait for the windows server to completely load. Now once the windows server has completely loaded, you want to open up server manager. So hit windows and type in server manager and then simply open up this application. Now to configure your DNS inside the server manager, simply click on tools and then choose DNS. And the very first step that you want to do is that you want to set up a new zone or a new forward lookup zone. Now to do this, simply click on your virtual machine's name and then click on this little arrowhead icon and then simply right click on this folder that says forward lookup zones and then click on new zone. Now this is going to open up this new zone wizard. So click next and then I want to create a new primary zone. So I'm going to create a zone named as cis.com and then click on next and then for the DNS file I'm going to go with create a new file with this file name and then hit next. After that if you're running an active directory then you can go for allow only secure dynamic updates. But since I'm not running an active directory I'm going to go with do not allow dynamic updates and then click on next. At the very end it will show you the configuration that we are going with. So hit finish to actually create this new zone. Now to verify that this new zone has been created, simply click on this little arrowhead icon in front of forward lookup zone and you would see that your zone cis.com has been created. Now if you want to create let's say a new host or maybe a new alias within this zone, then simply right click on the name of this zone and then choose what you want to do whether you want to create a new host, new alias, new mail exchanger, domain and so much more. So I'm going to go with a new host. So give your host a name. So I'm just going to call it support. 
so my fqdn or the fully qualified domain name would become support.cis.com and then i'm going to type in the ip address of this host so let's just go with 172.16.1.10 make sure to provide a valid ip address for this host at the very end simply click on add host and your host has been added to this zone as you can see right over here now that also brings us to the end of this tutorial now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and make sure to check out the link in the description box for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up dns server solution on windows server 2019 running on amazon web services and also check out the link for the marketplace listing for amazon web services and finally if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel